Alright, let's head out to my first big big commission and hopefully not my last. So I was given a particular room and told to do a Dragon Ball Z theme with no specifications, so I pretty much had freedom to do whatever I wanted. Unfortunately for me, I could not get a hold of a projector in time and ended up stuck with the ever so famous grid method. But thank god to my big giant brain, I came up with a simple solution, which was just to stick some pins into the wall and then wind some yarn around so that I can just remove the grid afterwards rather than having to erase the whole thing. My original plan was to just paint everything since that's all I'm familiar with and that's how I actually started. It was probably one of the most time consuming things you could honestly do and I soon realized no way I'm painting these walls like that. Lucky me though, they actually had provided me with high quality spray paint so I gave it a try. It took me a second to get a hang of it. In the past, I've used spray paint but it always came out looking so dookie garbage. I was nearly convinced that I had negative skill when it came to aerosol paints or whatever. So I started out by learning how to evenly cover bigger areas and avoiding any small details since I had little to no control over the can still. And then I attempted to learn to apply a gradient smoothly, which to no surprise was the hardest shit I've ever done. Alright, now let's talk about color scheme. I did not plan it, and that's why Vegeta's outfit doesn't match the symbol on his head, but it looked pretty cool regardless, so I left it. I was pretty much told to just make everything as bright and colorful as possible, so that's what I was doing. For the outline, I used watered down acrylic paint and a round brush because I will never trust myself with anything else. Anytime I make a mistake, I run for my sponge. I swear it saved my life because once the spray paint color is on, it is there forever. This entire project was all just one big learning experience for me. The fact that I was practically forced to pick up a new medium and skill was just a little intense, but also something that I've been dying to do. It's just one of those art things that you simply can't really do because each can costs like $10, you know? And let's not talk about how many cans I used for this project. I felt as though spray paint was the closest thing to digital art because you can add gradients and transparent layers, and I just found that really cool. I was able to knock out a whole wall pretty much every single day, so I was there for about seven days working on the entire room. Okay, last but not least, I did the Shenron on the last wall, and I actually did not film like half of it because it was pretty difficult to do. And by difficult, I mean it was just a big ass wall, like it was a lot of work, so you know. Alright, so I'm about to show you guys the finished product and let me explain my concept real quick. So there was like a little section of the room that was kind of behind the other walls, and I decided to make it like a red room kind of-ish, I don't know. And I did want to mention that I only had one little bar to light up the entire room, so this is not the full effect of the mural. There's going to be way more lighting in here, and it's going to be extremely bright. But, I mean, that one bar was able to illuminate the entire fucking room, so can you imagine once the lighting is completely set up and the ceiling is changed, the carpet is glow in the dark? Oh, I cannot wait to see it. And if you want to see this in real life, you can definitely follow them on Instagram for whenever they decide to release the information, but I can't right now, so... Mm.